All right, hello everybody. Another first impressions review. This is a game that came out yesterday. A game by Crimson Black Games. They are the publisher and developer. Looks like this is their second title on Steam. They had another game about a year and a half ago called Star Blast Retro Wars, and this is Star Blast 3D Wars. Okay, so this game is single player. It does have full controller support. Steam leaderboards. And, uh, okay, um, eight exhilarating modes. This game will keep you on the edge of your seat for hours on end. Take your pick of various modes, including Mortality, where you have three lives and must score as high as possible. Deadline, which gives you five minutes to get the highest score possible with infinite lives. And Shotgun, where you can unleash a unique bullet pattern that will leave your enemies reeling. Uh, you'll be facing off against rapidly spawning enemies, each type having its own gimmick. Uh, with intuitive controls, the fast-paced action, Star Blast 3D Wars is perfect for both casual gamers and hardcore fans of both twin-stick shooter uh, game genre. Well, I like twin-stick shooters, guys, and we're going to find out if Star Blast is worth your $5 price tag, and we'll do that right after this. Made with Unity. Let's go. Oh my god, and this is so loud. The settings. Okay, so the music goes away thing out of the settings. Change quality. Um, change HUD color. But there's no graphic settings, and mainly there's no audio settings. Why? Why? Okay, so let me go ahead and adjust the volume of the game in the OBS, guys, so you guys don't hear it blasting above my voice. Let me also adjust my headset volume way down low. Yeah, there's no reason, no excuse for no audio sliders here in the game, in my opinion. Uh, I could care less about changing the color of the fucking game. What I want to do is back to menu okay so we have deadline infinite lives limited time we have mortality classics scoring attack three lives with opportunity to earn more pacifism no guns gates only single life high tide wave rider omnipresent single life impervious apocalypse okay which one of these has, like, because I saw, like, a snake. I saw, like, a snake moving around. It looked like a snake space game. Um. Let's try this. Okay, I'm hitting space. There we go. Okay, there are... Arrow keys don't work. Okay, WASD doesn't work. What the hell, man? All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and try all these things. It looks like this is only a... You need a controller to play this game since it is a twin-stick shooter. So it doesn't really look like there is any options to play with a mouse and keyboard. I feel like the developer definitely needs to clarify that on the store page. So let's just go ahead and go in here from the credits. We'll start off with the deadline, infinite lives, limited time. And you hit your A button, and then it takes it a few seconds to load in. And... The developer definitely needs to put something as soon as you hit your A button so people aren't sitting there spamming their A buttons thinking it's not working. They need to, you know, the developer needs to put like, please wait or loading or something like that. Because uh, it does take about five to ten seconds after you hit the button for it to start. Okay. So, because it's a twin stick shooter, you're going to move your character with the left stick and shoot with the right stick. And these work as these little, look like, uh, weights or whatever these are things that blow up anything right behind you okay so that hurt me let's kill that guy i do like the music i just think the game needs sound it needs like sound settings so you can adjust the music especially if you're a streamer or whatever you shouldn't have to turn down your obs uh input and your you know, your headset volume and everything like that. 
just to adjust the volume, it'd be so much easier if the game actually had volume sliders. So hopefully that can help the developer make his game better. So there's all these little red mines or whatever that these enemies are leaving when I shoot them. Okay, but I can go over them. It doesn't hurt me. Okay. I'm at 15 health. Okay, so I had a multiplier of 87 there and 132,000. I have three minutes left to score as many points as I can. So I do like all the different game modes for sure. Offers a good variety for the price. Helps increase the value so you have more ways to play the game. Options are always good. That guy just charged me. Holy shit. I like how there's different enemies and they move differently there. They attack you differently, like where the blue ones are just coming casually and real slow. The red ones, like, have a lot of speed and charge at you. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense that a twin-stick shooter is only going to be able to be played or to be played best with a controller. But I feel like it is important the developer states that this is a controller-only game on the store page. Because there's probably a lot of people that might buy the game uh, thinking they can play with a mouse and keyboard. And they can't, because your keyboard has no... There's no controls at all that work. At least WASD doesn't work, the arrow keys don't move you. Uh, so yeah. So we have two minutes left, so I guess we can die as many times as you want. The game's not going to end, even if you die a hundred times. But the problem is, every time you die, it's going to take time. It's going to waste time. In this mode. Ah! Yeah, see, those red guys are a little bit more aggressive, a little bit harder to kill. A little less uh, predictability. Like that. But I feel like we're getting better at the game. I mean, this is pretty fun. Can't lie. Ah! Less than a minute left. How many points can I get? Oh. So yeah, see, dying is wasting my time there. I don't have, like, any number of lives, but... I have to start all the way over every time I die, which takes up 15, 20 seconds of my time, or I could be scoring points here. I like how the border sparks if you hit it. Yeah, this game is pretty visually, uh, I think it's pretty neat visually. Some people may be turned off by the simplistic graphics, but I like it. I think it's uh, pretty cool. Some of these games are overkill, like with the neon bright lights and stuff like that, but I don't feel like this one is really overkill. Granted, if I was sitting here playing this game for a couple hours, my eyes would probably start getting tired of these, uh, these effects and everything. Okay, so I did the time, and I got almost half a million, 463,000. Okay, let's go back to the main menu, and let's try the next one, Mortality. Classic score attack, three lives, with opportunity to earn more. Oh, we have a we have a special attack too. R one, I did R one or L one. Oh, it's a it's a cooldown. It's like a it's like a leap to get out of harm's way. Like that. I don't see that signified anywhere, so I don't know how you know when it's available. Yeah, you should probably show an icon or something like that to show when your when your leaf is available. Uh -huh.
If it's there, I've not seen it. So we still have three lives. We're just scoring as many points. So there's no timer on this one. Love the music. The music is really fitting and good for this type of a game. This remind this game reminds me a lot of like Geometry Wars or something. Looks a little bit different, but the gameplay is very similar to like Geometry Wars. So if you like Geometry Wars, you're probably going to love this game. And obviously, as you play longer, it's going to get harder and harder, as you can see. 100 health. How long can we... Oh, we don't have 100 health no more. There's so much shit on the screen right now. Oh, yeah, that, that didn't last very long. Okay. So our game's not over, we just lost a life. We must have earned an extra life at some point. Because I died and we still have three lives. Yes, it's pretty fun. I like it. I like how it shows the scores there. 141 multiplier right now. Holy crap. Still got our 100 health, knock on wood. Yeah, these things are getting way more aggressive and way more numerous. And I like how the music seems to get faster as the game gets harder. That's really well done. Sixty-five health. Oh man, thirteen health. So now we have two lives left. Can I get a million points? Can I get a million points before I die? That's the question. I don't remember seeing if this game had leaderboards or not on the store page. Hopefully it does have Steam leaderboards so you can compete against your friends. Or if you guys buy this game, you can compete against me. You can try to try to top my score here the first time you play the mortality mode. Now remember, this is my first time playing this, so... You know, it's not really fair if you guys play this like 10 times to beat my... My million points, I'm just saying. Or whatever I end up scoring. The controls are really responsive, they work really well. The effects are a little bit over the top, but I like them. Oh, wow. Damn it. 65 health. I am recovering health as I go. Oh, God. 90 health. Oh, my God. I got over a million. That was my goal. Can I get 2 million? Nope. I don't think so. So I must have got an extra life again. after I, Probably after I hit a million, I probably got an extra life. That would make sense. 254 multiplier. I wonder if you shouldn't lose your multiplier when you die. That would kind of make sense. You die, you have to build your multiplier back up. But hey, what's fair for one person is fair for everybody. So it works. I, I might be able to hit 2 million. Love the music. The music is great. The gameplay, the controls are great. It's just that, remember, you do have to have a controller to play this game, guys. One point seven million. I wonder if I get an extra, another extra life after two million. We'll see. Nope. Over 2 million do not, did not get an extra life. 
So the game is definitely getting harder. 38 health, 40 health. Ah! There's so much stuff. Holy cow. 2.6 million, one life left. Multiplier is now 328. Holy cow. I'm loving this game so far. I really am. It's a lot of fun, man. I like it. I want to hit three million before I before my game's over. Three million wouldn't be a bad score for my first time playing this mode, right? Multiplier. Oh, so close to three million. Yep. I made I hit my goal, three million, I'm happy. I do want to see some of the other modes, because there's a lot of modes. Almost three and a half million points, guys, with a 367 multiplier there. I like it. Let's go over here to the records and check that out. So, rank, deadline. Okay, so it shows it shows your record in every type of game. So there's this is the second. There's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight different modes. And I hit three and a half million in this one. So the next one then is going to be, um, how do I get out of this? Hello? Hmm. Ape? Yeah, I can't, okay, so once I went to my, there we go. Okay, so the, it's a little bit glitchy. It almost like I hit the back button on my controller, or the B button, and it, I think it kind of froze for a few seconds to back out. Let's go back to the main menu. So again, guys, we have the Deadline, we have the Mortality, which I just played. We have Pacifism, Single Life, No Guns, Gates Only. Let's try this one real quick. Play all different eight modes, my game, my video is going to be forever. We're just going to play a little bit of these, I think, and get the feel of it. So yeah, I can't shoot with this, with this, uh, with this mode. Cannot shoot at all. So then I guess I were calling these uh, these things that I'm running over to blow them up the gates. I guess that's a gate. Yeah, we already tried this mode. Uh, uh, okay, so I did try this mode off, uh, off stream when I wasn't recording. So there has to be enemies close to you or it's not going to do anything if you run over it. Okay. So 127,000. So we set a score on that. We had a multiplier of 105. Let's go back to our main menu. So they, I feel like the game needs to remember what mode you were just on rather than resetting it right back here every time. So that's just simply setting a variable to whatever mode you was on. That should be really easy to fix. High Tide, Wave Rider, Omnipresence, Single Life. Try this one. One life, huh? Oh god. This is a cool mode, I like this. I like how they go different directions. They start off going up and down and then they start moving left and right. That keeps things interesting. Oh, this is a fun mode. I like this. Ah! This is a fun mode. Oh god, I like this. I like this mode here. Ah! Oh my god, this is getting intense. Whoa! Oh my god, this mode is so much fun, guys. Wow. That's cool. I like that mode. That's going to be intense. That's a lot harder. Especially since you only get one life. Yeah. 
So, there's a lot of fun modes here. High Tide, I definitely like that one. Impervious. Guns only in safe zones. Let's try this one. So this one I have, I have arrows pointing towards the safe zones, maybe? But you have to be in, okay. Like here I can't use the, the guns. Oh, this is really cool. This is a very well thought out game. I love this by the developer. I love the creativity here. Uh, the originality, making it so you can only shoot in safe zones. That's really, really clever. Yeah, that's well done. I haven't ever seen a space game like this where you have safe zones that you can shoot from. That's brilliant, actually. Well thought out to the developer. I don't know if he's ever seen another game where you can do that. But guys, we're, we're taking a quick look at this. The Impervious, yeah, I like that, where you have to go to a certain safe zone. But to keep you guys from having to watch like an hour-long video, we're going to move right along. I really like the Impervious. I think that's a great idea. Uh, everything is omnipresent, single life. Well, you have a multiplier in every mode. Oh, this is, yeah, this is a combination of everything. Okay. That makes sense. Wow, this this makes things even harder. You combine these different modes. Wow, you only get one life as well. I feel like these modes are just getting harder and harder every time. That offers a ton of replay value, though. Yep, it just says it. It says it right there, Apocalypse. Everything is omnipresent. Okay. We have two more modes, guys. We have shotgun. Fewer, but uh, far stronger shots. Single life. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So, yeah, you can't spray out a whole bunch of uh, bullets at the same time. But there's a lot wider range, especially if you're shooting from a distance. So that really rewards you for shooting enemies from afar because there's a lot bigger spray. This is fun. This is another really creative mode. This rewards you for for taking your time to aim. It feels like this mode, that it's only eight directions, though. So that you can only shoot in eight different directions, where the other modes, I feel like you can shoot in a 360 degree range. This one feels like you can only shoot in eight different directions. So, yeah, the scores are horrible right now, guys, just because I'm trying these games, these modes really quick to get a good idea of what all we got here. We have one more mode to try out. Not so sure how fond I am on the shotgun, but, I mean, it might grow on you as you play it more. And then the scorpion, the variant of pacifism with a unique method of scoring single life. Okay. Try this. So this is a snake game that I saw on the trailer. Okay, so it's not like a snake game where if you run into your tail, you die. But if they hit... Wait a minute. If they hit my tail, they die, right? That's what it looks like. Let's retry that real quick. Because this is an interesting mode. And you do fade. So if they hit my tail, they die. Yeah. So you kill them with your tail and you can't shoot. Yeah, I cannot shoot. So this is another really creative, really interesting mode. I like it. I like this a lot. So we do have our R1 button to give us a burst of speed if we get in trouble. So I like that. 58 health. Oh, this is cool. I like this mode as well, guys. So, let's go ahead and get this straight, guys. We have a game. The biggest problem with this game that I see is in the main menu. We need settings so we can control the volume, the sound. Also, adding a setting so you can make this a windowed mode uh, would be great as well. And then we only have records of our own personal high scores. We don't have... A scoring system that you know for all the different modes against all our steam users so having high scores uh against other steam users would be really good and then again there's a long delay like if i hit the back button here i have to wait i feel like 30 seconds for the game to actually back out of the high scores 
so that I can do something again. So for the people that aren't very patient or that don't know what's going on, uh, that might be really frustrating, especially like you know, they might think their game's frozen up or whatever. So to the developer, I would definitely, if you can't make it go faster, I would definitely put like a message up at the top of your screen somewhere up here that says like, loading, please wait, you know, or please wait, whatever. Uh, so people aren't thinking that your game's just not working, okay? So, and then again, also like when we click, go into a mode, like I already clicked my A button, you need a message up here that says loading, please wait. So that people are sitting there spamming their button over and over and over again. But yeah, guys, um, let's go ahead and hit X to quit. Star Blast 3D Wars offers you eight pretty unique, totally different types of gameplay, depending on what you like. If you guys like games like uh, Geometry Wars, you're probably really, really, really going to like Star Blast 3D Wars. This game is a winner, guys, in my opinion. I like it a lot. Uh, the graphics are, you know, they're pretty old school, they're pretty retro, but they work perfectly for the type of game that this is. And if we look here, guys, I've already spent more than 30 minutes playing it, which is more time than I usually spend making a first impression score. But I really like uh, how every different mode is quite a bit different from all the others. Uh, they offer a different, uh, unique uh, element of the gameplay, a different, unique, uh, you know, twist to the core gameplay mechanics. And uh, like I said, it's just a lot of fun. I think this game is a winner. So to Crimson Black Games here, your second game here is a winner in my books, guys. If you like these old school kind of games, you like space shooters, you like games like Geometry Wars, you like games like maybe Super Stardust back on the old PlayStation 3, uh, I think you're really going to, to like this game as well. And the price tag is more than fair, more than generous. At a $5 price tag, again, you get 25% off the first week here. Uh, this game is uh, definitely a great value. Uh, I feel like you're going to be able to get many, many hours of gameplay and fun out of this game. Uh, I don't know. I want to look here and see if there is a leaderboard here. Yeah, so there is different leaderboards. So it shows you all the different modes. So it doesn't show all this in the actual game itself. It only shows your personal best. But you can see which was the one that I did, Mortality. I think that's the one where I scored the highest, like three and a half million or whatever. Let's take a look. Yeah. So only three people have played this Mortality road here, and I uh, am not the top, even on that mode here. So see, I like that you can go to the Steam page here and see where you rank against other Steam users. So I really, really like that as well. And then a lot of these other modes I just went through really quickly. So uh, yeah. Yeah. Love it. Love that all the high scores so you can, can compete against all the other Steam users if you want to here uh, by just going to the Steam page and looking up and see where, where you rank uh, in the particular mode that is your favorite or whatever mode you did best in or whatever. Um, Crips of Black Games, great game. I love it. I think this is a winner. I am going to give you a Zaxter's Indie Gold Award, guys. I'm going to give this game. Um, there's some things that need to be fixed in the game. Uh, such as being able to make the game windowed mode, being able to have si you know, sound and music sliders so you can adjust those accordingly to whatever you want. Uh, those definitely need to be in this type of game, in my opinion. And then maybe offer you some options you know, for less explosions and stuff like that for people where this kind of stuff might uh, kind of hurt their eyes or whatever. Uh, maybe be able to turn that down so you don't see all these huge explosions. Being able to have control over that would also be a nice touch in the settings uh other than that i think that this game is a winner guys i think it's a lot of fun i think it's a fantastic value which is why i'm going to give this game i would give it a 9.5 out of 10 but because it does lack uh the missing things the missing music sliders and volume sliders in the settings i'm going to knock this game down to a 9.3 but uh definitely still a winner guys and I look forward to seeing what the smaller com comes out with next. Zaxxer's Any Gold 93% score is my first impression score just because it offers such a fantastic value. Eight different unique game modes that you can play uh, for under three bucks. And also to the developer, you might want to, to improve the value even more. You might want to figure out a way for people to play with, you know, the WAC keys and be able to use the mouse to shoot. Uh, there's a lot of twin stick shooters that do allow, um, you know, mouse and keyboard. Uh, as well. So if you can add that to your game, that would just improve the value and help people that uh, might be trying to play with a mouse and keyboard uh, or prefer a mouse and keyboard to a controller. I think the best way to play this game, even if there was keyboard and mouse controls, though, I think the best way to play this game would definitely be with the controller. So 
Uh, I would also put somewhere on the on the store page to the developer. I would definitely put game needs to be played with a controller, controller only or whatever, because I didn't see any way to play with a mouse and keyboard. So 93% is my score. Zach, there's any gold? I like this one, guys. Be sure you comment down below. Let me know if this video has inspired you to go pick up Star Blast 3D Wars. And again, great job to the developer. I think you've made a real winner here. And like I say, I look forward to seeing what you come up with next. Have a great one, everybody. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.